So I'm going to quickly show you how to make a Christmas card. So click on New Project. There's loads of templates here, if you type the word Christmas. However, what we're going to do is we're going to make one from scratch. So I'll type the words card. And then we'll stick with the white colour for now. We go to Print, A4, and then we'll switch it so that it's landscape. So use that little button there. Click on Create. So you've got your A4 paper. So we're going to fold it down the middle, but there's no line there, so it could be tricky. So what we're going to do is go to View, and then Add Guides. I'm going to change it from Pixels to Percent, and Type 50. So this blue line here, this won't print. So it does show you where half the page is. For when you're creating it, you know which half is which. So this is the front of my card on the right, and then this is the back on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a picture in. So File, Open and Place, and I made this picture before, so I'm going to click on that one. You can just tick it if you're happy where it is, or you can move it like that. You can also shrink it. When you're happy, click Tick. You can still move it after. If you don't see these handles in the corners, you can click on Transform Controls and they'll appear. I'm then going to put some text in with the T tool. So you click on the canvas and you can type some text in. Now I'd like to be able to move my text around, so I'm going to do another text box. So I'm going to click on the Selection tool, click back on the text box and then click again. The only reason I'm doing this is because then I can move them independently of each other, so I've got more choice about what I do with them. So you can rotate them like that. You can also change the size of them. So I'm just going to tick that one for a second, and then I'm going to get Christmas. So to change the size of them, at the moment I can't see any text options here. So I'm just going to double click. Now I've got my options, so I can change the colour up here. You can also change the size, but at the moment it's on maximum. So to get around that, you get rid of what's there and put a new number in. Press enter. If it's too big, you can either change the number there or click on the selection tool and then you can shrink it. If you don't like the font, again, double click. Click in here and then choose a font. Might take a second to load. Another thing you might want to do is center it if you've got more than just one word in, or left align, right align. You can also warp stuff as well. So you could do like that. So there's lots of different choices you can choose. And then when you click OK, you can move it around. So if you'd like to add a background, so we've got here background already, but we're going to ignore that one. We've got the Christmas pudding, we've got Happy Christmas. So we can add a new layer. So new fill layer, you can choose colour, or you can choose gradient. So if you choose colour, you just choose a colour like that. Click OK, and it all goes red, and everything's gone. That's because this is on the top. So if you drag it down, there, goes below. Can't see happy because that text is red. So have a think about what colour you choose. So what I'm going to do is delete that layer because I don't like it. Now I'm going to add a different one. I'm going to add a gradient. So new fill layer, gradient. So we've got a gradient here with black and white. If you don't like black and white, you can click on the colours. You can double click on black. You can change it back to red here. You can change this one here, double click. I'll do it green for now. You can also um, click around here as well. And you can add another one, I'll do orange. And you can move them along as well, how far you want them to appear. Like that. Just remember, how does it look overall? So for example, this text, you can't see it. So go back and make sure it's readable. When you've finished, um, if you can't see it because of these boxes, um, these do move. So you can see how you can get rid of them there. 
So if you're happy with it, file, save as PSD. So that means that you can open it again in the future. It's a Photoshop document, so you can open it and edit it. Or if you've finished, then export as. So you can do lots of different picture types. I'd suggest PDF for a card. So hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you did, press the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe.